a day in summer vacation, anything is possible. Where have you gone, my little darling? Don't worry, Jerry. Everything which is lost will turn up again. In darkest night that's black and cold, that's where the stars shine brightest. Did you know that, Jerry? Jerry! Wake up, sleepyhead! Like I always say, a single hop is not that hard. And many hops in a row can get you anywhere. But we could use my bike as well. You must break the spell. You alone can stop him. I will be back in time for dinner, Mum. I promise. Anything's possible in a day on summer vacation, and I've still got two days left. I have to go back to Mousewood. I'm sure the old magician will know what to do. The mousewood is still open a crack. Let's see. I am Jerry Hazelnut, apprentice to the Marquis de Hoto. I will return to Mousewood to correct what has gone wrong. Whatever that might be. It worked! Oh man, no wonder the Marquis always talks so funny. You can open portals that way. Jerry! So you really are a dreamwalker. The stories are true. I, I knew you were special. <laughs> I am just a boy. Jerry, we need your help. Nearly everyone in Mousewood has fallen into a deep sleep. It happened after they talked to those odd strangers. Strangers? At first I thought they were humans, but those were probably masks. I met them too. The old magician from the edge of town locked one of them up in a magic bottle. But a few others are still roaming around Mousewood. Where's the old magician now? I have to talk to him. He went home to fetch more of his bottles. But now he's disappeared as well. Don't worry. I'll look for him. Be careful, Jerry. Or else the strangers will put you to sleep too. Be alert. You too, Plato. I'll go look for Anya. I hope she's well. Great Zaroff experienced the greatest illusionist of our time. Funny, I could swear the posters weren't here before. Oh no, I'll happily hand over my garden. Are you sure? Yes, you are. I see it in your eyes. You are quite sure of your decision. And you won't regret it. My elixir is the solution for every problem this town may have. I will now relieve you of one of yours. The burden of having your own garden. It no longer rests upon your shoulders. Well, give me the bottle then. A bottle for the hair. The price? Well, it matters not. Oh. Come closer. Another. Give me another. Oh, there's still unhappiness in my life. So much bad luck. Take it away. The hair just sold his garden. Something's not right here. It's 
Excuse me, but... Eat it. I was here first. Did you really just sell your garden for a bottle of Lucky Elixir? A reasonable price to ease the pain and unhappiness. Pain and unhappiness? Why would his garden make him unhappy? Are you blind? Haven't you seen the posters? What good is my garden or anything else if I don't get to see the great illusionist? The great Zaroff. But I didn't get a ticket. What a disaster! And where is the show being held anyway? I was wondering that too. Don't you often wish that someone had a cure for it? We have a cure. We will be the solution. He's asleep. Zara. <laughs> he was a good customer. <laughs> He's asleep, brave little girl. You want to get past me? Never. Unless you give me your ticket for the great Zaroff show. I don't have one. Well, then go away. Conrad got one, so I want one too. But Conrad already sold all the nuts, all the books, everything. Well, how am I supposed to pay for my ticket? <laughs> you have come because the pain is eating you up, like all the others. You want to see Zaroff, like all the others. But you are only a child, a human child. I can smell it. You own no securities, no property, nothing. Hick. Come back when you have a trade, something you can use to Hick. speculate with. I don't think he's taking me seriously. And he smells of alcohol. Hello? Is anybody there? Where could the old magician have gone to? Wait a minute. Isn't that... Huh? How did I get up here? I did it. What are you doing in the bottle? Help me out of here. But how? Break the crystal. Gorn can't limb position, and now, ah, the sun illuminates the kernel of corn so brightly. Oh, 
Okay. You freed me. What happened? The Consortium Squamata has come to Mousewood. I succeeded in capturing one of them in a banishing bottle, but then I banished myself into the crystal. Consortium Squa... Squa... Squamata, a consortium of lizards. They have already haunted many worlds. This time, they traveled in the shadow of a much greater disaster. Yes, the Marquis has disappeared, and so is my home. The Marquis? So, that is why... Something dark has infested the heart of the portal system. I will attempt to learn more about it. In order to help Mousewood and return home, you must bring me the lizards. Take these banishing bottles. Remember, the lizards must open the bottles themselves. Otherwise, you will get trapped like me and Mousewood and your home will be lost. The Marquis has disappeared, and so is my... The Marquis, something I will... In order to use the banishing bot, remember, the lizards must... That's the back of the tree trunk cafe. Oh, closed. Hmm. I wonder where Anya is. Come close. How cute. The human child fetches a bottle. <laughs> Can't you see that I have enough bottles? Enough for the whole town. Take it away. How cute. The human child fetches a bottle. <laughs> Can't you see that I have enough bottles? Enough for the whole town. I'll try to slip him the bottle behind his back. Let's see if it works. It's my turn to get a bottle now. I was here first. Every bottle has its price. I don't care. And you won't regret it. My elixir is the solution for every problem this town may have. A bottle for the hair. How does this work again? This wonder elixir spreads from your nose to your whole body. Oh, the cork is really tight. But if I help it along with my thumb... I imprisoned him in a bottle. <laughs> How appropriate. What have you done? I will... But that... It, it, it's a ticket. At last. At long last. He's asleep. Sounds like he's there, like he's seeing the magic show in his dream. How very strange. 
I wonder if the ticket caused that. I'd better not touch it. Financial maneuvering. Oh, yes, I am so rich. Trained plumbers make a pretty good living, you know. You have come because the pain is eating you up, like all the others. Absolutely. You want to see Zaroff, like all the others. Exactly. Are you ready to sign a contract that allows me to speculate with your belongings? Then you will soon see him. The Great Zarov! Sure, where do I sign? Excellent! Your plumber's workshop belongs to me. Don't I have to sign something? Your word is enough. <laughs> By squam attacks, everything is running like clockwork. So, where is Zaroff? You are still... Still awake. Soon, you will sleep. And see the great Zaroff. His vengeance is our triumph. Now my brothers will have to respect me. They'll have to. The I've spell still got a works lot of money and stuff to spend. Than I That's would a problem. Have you want to see Zaroff? Like all the others. Yeah. The spell seems to work more slowly on him. Ah, it's no problem. Then I'm sure you would be glad to sign another contract. Then you will soon see him. The great Zaroff. Sure. A bird never flew on one wing. I want another contract. Excellent. Your securities now belong to me, too. <laughs> so? You are still... Still awake. Soon you will sleep. And see the great Zaroff. I think, I think I'm a little bit tipsy. <laughs> I've still got a lot of money and stuff to spend. That's a problem. You want to see Zaroff like all the others? Yeah. The spell seems to work more slowly on him. Ah. It's no problem. Then I'm sure you would be glad to sign another contract. Then you will soon see him. The Great Zaroff. The price for acorns and nuts just crashed. Hick. Ooh. What? Hick. Hick. Ooh. This was all for nothing? I... Oh, I feel... Is he? My brothers will laugh at me. All worthless. We will be exposed. <laughs> They'll all want refunds. Every lizard for himself. Looks like the sparkling wine went to his head. <laughs> the weird guy is stuck in the armor. But how do I get him out of there? Let's see if it works.
that was fun. Hmm, where did that lizard get to now? He ran out here, didn't he? Nothing wrong? Absolutely nothing. No. <laughs> How about some fresh cold water? Water? <laughs> Dear, dear boy. <laughs> Who needs to fleece the whole world of its possessions to be happy? If, if a sip of water from the hand of a business partner like you, no, a friend, <laughs> could refresh me more than Signing any contract? Well then. Bottoms up! I did it! I caught the lizard! Finally! I didn't get dizzy from all that talk. The hare has already swallowed an awful lot of that elixir. He'd sell his grandmother for the stuff. That is a lot of bottles. <laughs> 